uh, in the front seat grabbed the arm of the traquetero and then a guy from the back seat lowered the window <gasps> pulled out a machete chopped his arm off i'm chicano and this is paradise yes this is paradise um but as you grow in your spirituality paradise is wherever you go guys don't want you to get discouraged because of whatever situation you're in now because this is really paradise right here jesus dying on the cross promised us to go to heaven we just gotta adhere to god's teachings listen to the holy spirit that's that today's video is about uh by popular demand number one because by far my biggest uh my most popular videos by far if you guys go in there are all about my past they're all about my about the hood where i grew up in because that's real guys that's a, a real thing that really happened with me um and it was traumatic post-traumatic stress disorder man but i'm not gonna talk about the ptsd i'm gonna make this story fun you know not fun as as oh my god you know giggle giggle all this you know but fun is i'm just gonna talk about the past for whatever it was because i know a lot of you guys um that follow me are from a similar background as i am so this one is i'm gonna tell you guys it's a pico uni story first off and i'm gonna talk about some cities some other districts uh that are around pico union because really pico union was just a small part of a bigger area that was known as the crazy area everybody all over la especially all over la but even other counties san bernardino san diego everybody that was with the business that was you know um had your ear to the street so to speak uh they all knew about the crazy area which was uh pico union uh westlake macarthur park area south central downtown la uh, all this area is basically downtown la you know just east side west side all that um boyle heights and then that's where it stopped on the east side and then it went to the west side to koreatown and then to the south side it went to south central and then to the north side it would go borderline echo park uh you know around that area um so yeah this was known as a crazy area a lot of gangsters right there you know a lot of gang banging um and each area had their own thing we were known for crack that's what we were known for pico union crackville macarthur park was known for all kinds of small businesses man you would see little paisas uh out on the street going like this mika mika seguro mika seguro hey man if you grew up in the hood you know what's up with that especially if you grew up in pico union you if you were an outsider you'd be like oh man these these uh a paisa a paisa is like an immigrant you know chicano is what you know people that are born in the united states those are the ones doing all the taxing and you know doing all the businesses in the back like in the background like they were the the ones that collected the money while the soldiers were the illegal immigrants the fresh i don't even like to call them illegal you know because my parents were across the border like that so um the immigrants to put it or if you hear me say paisas that's what i mean paisas so the paisas were out there and they were just going like this if you were an outsider you think hey these guys are throwing gang signs nah man they were asking you if you wanted to get a fake social security number if you wanted to get a fake id because uh that whole area of pico union mccarthy park it was all um it was an immigrant hub it's an immigrant bill it's what you know people would call it immigrant hub because all the immigrants that came landed there and then they spread out so that's where they landed they landed in the pico union area um mexico salvador guatemala honduras um all that you know that, that's where uh they would land and then they would spread out so a lot of people there would need fake ids and fake social security numbers so they can start working 
uh, legally. They could start working. And so that was, that was popular right there. That was the Crazy Riders neighborhood. The Crazy Riders ran that, you know? And the Crazy Riders, I'm not gonna lie, they had a, a hold on that area. I don't know how it is now. I'm telling you guys, this is back in the 90s and early 2000s. But the Crazy Riders, they had a lock on the whole Mika Seguro type thing, which was all Alvarado, Alvarado Boulevard was known as Crazy Riders Barrio. You know what I mean? Although there were some battles for it, especially with 18th Street. 18th Street wanted everything. So there was battle with the Colombia Little Cycles and other barrios there that you guys that follow me that are from the same area will know like that quick when I mention them. But other people that are into gang banging in other parts of the world, other parts of the city even may not know, but uh, I was a crazy ass rider. Crazy riders is a crazy ass barrio. That's why they call them the crazy riders, but I don't think personally growing up, I don't think there's there was a barrio that took more losses than crazy riders. The crazy riders had a homeboy die, it seemed like two, three times a week. Every weekend there was a new car wash, you know, there was a new hit up, you know, rest in peace. And um, sometimes on the weekends there was a car washes for two or three of the homies. So crazy riders, man, if you're watching this, shout out because you guys, for real, you guys had Alvarado on lock. I don't know if you still do, uh, cause um, I don't live there anymore, but uh, back in the days, 90s, um, the 90s for sure, all of the whole 90s, you know, the whole 90s for sure. But I know towards the end, you guys started taking a lot of losses, you know, because um, 18th Street was, you know, taking over the Colombia Little Cycles, you know, but growing up, I remember you guys had Alvarado on lock, you know, so, and Crazy Riders had that on lock. And so Crazy Riders were also known for their placasos. They would love to hit up the whole barrio so you can know exactly where you're at. And they had to go head up with big barrios, man. Crazy Riders had to go up with, well, against 18th Street and MS. Think about that. Two of the biggest barrios out there, you know, they had to go head up with them. And they would, but they would definitely take a lot of losses because both uh, 18th Street and MS were, were fucking crazy. Uh, MS, I would, I would, you know, uh, if you're from a different bottle of MS, you may not want to hear this, but I will admit that, you know, MS, they, they struck a certain type of fear in you because they were just known for always being crazy. Like there was no chill. You know how nowadays everyone says that, that dude has no chill. Well, MS had no chill. They always wanted to be violent. That was a reputation. You know, they couldn't just kick it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and from my experiences with them, yeah, that's how it was, you know? So, um, you know, yeah, they have to go ahead up with them. But what other barrios that you guys know of, you know? And so, over in the 18th Street side, street criminals, you know, it was all about curb serving, selling crack, crack cocaine. And I remember one time, uh, we were you know fresh into the into the neighborhood and my mom was looking out the window because there was a big old commotion outside and so then i look out the window too and there's these dudes arguing um there's dudes that are selling outside the traqueteros and a traquetero is basically someone that, that sells rock cocaine for a, a barrio or sells uh, whatever for a barrio you know um again immigrants and so what would happen is the the barrios the chicanos would put them out there to work and then once they made the money, then they would just come, the Chicanos would come and, and collect. They collect the money from the immigrants. And so that's what a traquetero was. And what was common is that people from other barrios, they would come to your barrio to tax your traqueteros, you know, because they're taking money away from your barrio. You know, and the traqueteros are easy targets because a lot of them aren't strapped. They're not with the business. They don't, they don't gang bang. They're basically out here desperate, fresh immigrants trying to make a living for themselves, except that they took the wrong route. They, they were under the wrong influences. People like my dad, they always went and looked for work and they always worked um, the legal way, you know, like the, the blue collar way. But some chose this route and they, you know, they suffered the consequences. And this was one of those instances where they're arguing because the dude in the passenger seat, the one who was riding shotgun, he held on to the dude's arm because he had the, the money and then the, the drugs and he wouldn't let go. He wouldn't let go. So uh, the dude in the in the back the lowered the window and from the back, a machete chopped his arm off. And all you can see is the fool going, ay, mi brazo, 
mi brazo, mi brazo, and just blood squirting out, squirting out of his arm, and the dudes take off, and the fact that it was a machete to me makes it, I don't know who it was, but to me, MS. That's uh, a signature of MS back in the day. If they were only with a machete and they got you with a machetazo, it was likely MS. And so um, they take off, and the dude just crying, rolling on the floor, and then he grabs a bag, just a plastic bag, you know, a shopping bag, and wraps it around his arm. And I remember that was like the first traumatic thing that I ever saw in the hood. I was young, we're fresh to that neighborhood. We thought we got to a better, better neighborhood because we came from the other side of People Union. Um, but nah, man, it was crazy, dude. And this is just a little taste of uh, what I went through in the past. So I just wanted to drop this quick video to let you guys know what's up. And if you grew up in the crazy area, let me know where. Let me know what barrio you grew up in, what barrio you're from. And yeah, man, stay tuned for more videos like this, all right? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I know you guys like videos from my past because uh, the likes, they prove it. So, all right, man, peace.